So I want to show you in this video how to put your web content behind what's called a local server so you can view it in your browser. So if you ever used Unity or other game frameworks to build a WebGL build of your game, you often get an index.html file. If you then try and just double click on it and open it in your browser, you often get this error or some, some error that warns you that you can't access content from file colon slash slash URLs. And if you look at your URL bar, you'll see that it's like C colon blah, blah, blah. So it's actually trying to reach into your hard drive and, and read a file and run it in your browser. And for security reasons, that's a problem. And so browsers will block that. And what we want to do instead is put our content behind what's called a HTTP server um, and then view it in the browser. And this is how most websites are hosted. They're behind a server. And then we won't hit these security restrictions. So multiple ways to do this. I'm going to close this tab. I will post this below the video, but you can, if you're really looking for a GUI, use this Chrome extension, which allows you to basically choose what folder to serve, and then it shows up in your browser behind a URL. That works great if you're in Chrome, but I'm also going to show you a different way to do it that is my preferred way of doing it. And since you're all familiar with Terminal at this point, um, you can follow along with this way too. So go to nodejs.org and install either of the versions that are on the main page. I generally installed the long-term support version. And when that's done, go ahead and go to your folder where your index.html file is. And if you're on Windows, you can hit Alt-F and then click on Open in Windows PowerShell. It'll take a second to open up, but what we can see is that we are in that directory. We're in C, users, my downloads, blah, 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 milestone three. That's where we are. So from this directory, we can then run a node command. So npx http dash server space dash o. And what this does, npx is part of the node ecosystem. It's a command that allows you to run um, node packages. We're going to run the HTTP server package, which is a little HTTP server. And by default, it is going to serve up the files in our local directory so that we can view them in the browser. And the dash O flag that we added at the end just means please open the browser tab by default. So we hit enter. It's going to start up a server, spin up, show us our WebGL game, and everything will work like normal. If you happen to close your browser tab and lose track of it, you can go back to your terminal window and you can copy the URL from at the bottom here and just paste it into your browser tab and you're back at the server. So I want to show you one last thing. If you're on a Mac or that command that I showed you, uh, Alt F when you're in Windows Explorer doesn't work. Another way to do this is you, you open up your terminal of choice. If it's Windows, open up PowerShell. If it's Mac, open up Terminal. Um, I'm going to open up Windows Terminal, which is a new sort of beta terminal that I like to use on Windows. You're going to type in the command cd space, uh, which stands for change directory. And then you are going to go up a directory to, from your index.html file so that you're seeing the directory that holds the HTML file. You're going to drag and drop that into your terminal window. So we're saying change directory to this location, which is the folder where index.html file is. Hit enter. We can see now that the path has changed in our terminal window, and we can run the same command. HTTP server dash O, hit enter. It'll pop open our game. And that's all there is to run WebGL games on your local machine.